Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we are taking a look at the brand new 2023 Mobile Suites Orlando model by DRV Suites. We're gonna take a few minutes, run you through the inside and outside of the RV. We'll close it up at the end as well and show you what it looks like all closed up. I wanted to give you a few seconds here of what the outside looks like already closed up before we get inside. Beautiful paint job on this one. They offer multiple paint jobs. Check out the fact that that slide out right there is kind of recessed back inside the wall. They have a three and a quarter inch thick sidewall. All right, let's head inside and get to the beautiful part. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Mobile Suites Orlando model here. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up, this is a two bedroom bath and a half fifth wheel. This is one of the highest line fifth wheels currently on the market. We're gonna start back here in the back section here and then kind of work our way forward. So this is a rear bathroom model. And in order to get in there, you have to kind of push down on the little latch to unlock it and slide your door open for your bathroom. The door just kind of lock, uh, locks back into place there. Over here, we have the porcelain foot flush toilet, which is actually a macerator style toilet. There is a window back here that does open. These are dual pane safety glass windows. MCD roller shades day and night. Starting from the top down here, you can see there is a turbo exhaust fan up there, AC duct up there as well. Then you have quite a few cabinets here, large mirror, solid surface countertops, six drawers, and some storage space, LED toe kick lighting. Shower wise, you have a one piece fiberglass shower with a sit down seat, adjustable shower bar, sliding glass enclosure, skylight up above. Lots of height back here for you taller folks. Looking back forward here, we are into the master bedroom here. So let's start looking at the foot of the bed here. We have TV up there, angled down pretty nicely. And you also have storage underneath of that TV. Then we have a lot of hanging closet space and some upper cabinets as well there you can see. Solid surface countertop here as well. And then you have a lot of drawer space here. Big drawers on the outer part and smaller drawers on the inner part here, but a lot of drawer space. There is also an electric outlet on each side of that dresser there. And then there is a, one of the touch pad light controls over there as well. Pretty cool setup. These little things right here is part of the end command center. And I can roll through here and kind of control some of the lights and I can dim and lower them depending on which light it is. Some of them are dimmable. Now you do have a slide across door there. You can see popping up in the picture. Looking up at our ceilings up here, you can see the AC duct return over there. This has the nicer Whisper Quiet AC. This one was ordered with three ACs. Each one has its own control and it also has its own return air as well and temperature sensor. This one was ordered with the optional queen bed in place of a king bed. So you have your choice when ordering one. Do you want to go queen and pick up some room on each side of the bed? Or do you need the extra room when you're sleeping? So here we have queen size bed. This will raise up. So you have quite a bit of storage underneath of here as well. Those little boxes in that picture you're seeing under there are actually the little beauty ring center cap things that go on the wheels outside. There is storage over here 
along with a wireless phone charger as well. Counter on each side of the bed as well, and those windows, all three open, have the day-night roller shades. You can see bunched up in the bags there, there is a little pillow package and the uh, comforter that comes with it as well. Overhead cabinet space, quite a bit up there. So you have your whole master bath back here to yourself if you want it to be. Um, obviously, the kids would have to come back here and take a shower during the day or whatever, but you've got kind of the whole area once you close off the doors back there to yourself because they're going to have their own half bath up there by their bedroom. Stepping back out into the living room area and kitchen area. You have the island here, really beautiful island set up here. Nice woodworking on this, electric outlet on the side, some backlighting there, high rise sprayer faucet, solid surface countertops. And the sink is a dual undermount sink. You can see pop up in that picture here. And they also have a whole house water filtration system. This was ordered with the 270 uh, three camera system, basically, that kind of gives you a bird's eye view looking down over your RV, allowing you to see what's going on around you and also behind you. Now looking at the island area here, you can see this one has the dishwasher feature. Pull out drawer basically for the dishwasher. And then you have a drawer below and some storage underneath that sink area, quite a bit actually. Looking over here at the stove area, you have the large insignia oven, glass front, light inside, little lights above your knobs there, four burner gas stove top, three drawers on the left, one drawer on the right with your trash can as well. So quite a bit of storage around that stove oven area. Now on the bottom of the cabinet, you can see those lights. Next to each light is also an electric outlet. So if you wanted to set something there, you can plug it in to the bottom of the cabinet. That window also opens, again, dual pane safety glass windows. Up top here, you have the Insignia Convection Microwave. So you can cook or microwave either one, storage above and beside it also. Over on the side here, you have more storage on the upper part and the lower part. There's also an electric outlet there and more of that in-command lighting control switch as well. Let's step back here, just kind of look up at our ceiling area. Look at that. Nice, beautiful setup there. Also have a ceiling fan up there. This ceiling, by the way, is a soft touch padded ceiling. This is a nice upgrade and improvement for the ceiling part of it. One, it's easy to wipe off and clean off and things like that. But the big thing there is it helps a little bit as a sound deadener. So on those rainy days and stuff, you know, it's just a little bit quieter. It's not a huge difference, but it is enough that you do kind of notice it if you've lived in these RVs before. Now over here we have the Insignia 25 cubic foot residential refrigerator. So you have freezer on bottom with an ice maker and then you have the refrigerator part on top. But 25 cubic foot, that is huge for an RV. You also have that storage up above there as well. And then you have kind of a pantry space beside it, some drawers down below, but then you also have shelf space that kind of pulls out also. Over here, we have a power theater seat with USB charger ports in each arm. You have storage in each arm and in the middle console as well with the cup holders there. Those windows all open. Overhead storage space above there as well. Nice tall slide outs too. So when you stand up out of your sofa, you don't have to worry about smacking your head. That is a nice feature. 
I'm not really tall enough to worry about that on most fifth wheels, but I have done it a few times in travel trailers and it does not feel good. Over here, we have a manual theater seat over here that you can flip open. And then underneath of this seat is also kind of a little hidden storage cubby area built into it as well, you can see. Overhead cabinet space up there, quite a bit actually. Now directly across from our theater seat here, we have a 34 inch Furion electric fireplace. Basically a fancy electric space heater, but it does work really nicely. There is a pull out drawer above and storage on each side as well. You have the sound bar just below your Insignia TV right there. And then this TV actually unlatches and swings open and there's a lot of storage behind there for things like maybe your Blu-rays or DVDs, whatever you might have, CDs, you know, depending on how old school you are with some of that stuff. And then you have more storage space up above. Now up here, you can see that nice kind of decorative vent there. That is a turbo exhaust fan, which you typically see in most RVs this, that are upper end, but they don't typically encase it and kind of decorate it up like that. So that's kind of a nice little touch as well. You'll also notice as we do look around that the floor ducts are actually in, or the heat ducts are actually in the floor. They use two six inch heat ducts uh, that kind of run through the underbelly, radiating heat out into your underbelly as well. Um, lots of insulation packed into this thing. I would definitely recommend checking out their construction video they have on their YouTube channel and stuff. Um, but this thing is well thought out, well designed for that full time liver. Uh, living person. So you will see a lot of residential style features as you run through these things. This was also ordered with the Halo on Command Center um, that basically it's kind of like a voice activated AI. It almost reminds you of like an Alexa. But this thing is actually capable of like turning on and off some of the lights and stuff in the RVs and doing many other things above and beyond what the factory sets it up to do uh, due to RVIA code. They can't quite do everything it's capable of, but you could probably do it aftermarket yourself if you really wanted to get real technical with it. There's also up there the WineGuard Gateway Connect. That connect box is usually an aftermarket feature you have to buy with most RVs uh, that have the WineGuard 360 Plus antenna on them, but here they include that. That allows you to subscribe to like AT&T or Verizon, somebody like that, and bring in a Wi-Fi connectivity through their services. Nice decoration kind of set up to the step there as well. Just kind of has its own little built-in slip guard and stuff. There's also a motion light down there to help you. Back in behind here, there is, turn on my own little light here. Um, we have the propane leak detector down at the bottom step. You have some electric box breakers and fuses stuff down here. And you have things like this one was ordered with the optional 12 volt heat pads on the holding tanks and elbows. So besides all that radiated heat and stuff that blows down into that underbelly, you also can get tank heaters to double it up. Cap light switch, Truma on-demand water heater switch, turbo exhaust fan switch, part of the power control center here. This was ordered with the uh, 3000 watt inverter, uh, four six volt batteries, um, also has a energy management system that it was ordered with as well. So you have quite a few different things you can option into these things, but in this on command center, you can go in, control your uh, AC furnace, lights, slides, awnings, uh, ceiling fan. If you do the generator, which this one has, you control your generator, battery condition, water pump, water heater stuff interior lights, security lights, all kinds of goodies you can go through this thing right here. Then you have your holding tank sonar levels here. So this is the sea level two tank monitoring system. Much more accurate and less headaches 
typically than the uh, old style probe setup. Part of the power management system here, if you do that feature as far as, you know, kind of controlling your charge system and different things in here. I'm not gonna get real into the technical stuff. They'll do all of that during your demonstration when you pick one up from Couch's RV Nation. Over here, we have just kind of a reminder checklist they even put up here uh, to tell you that, you know, check things before you leave. You also have some of the other stuff as far as like paint color codes and different things just kind of stuck onto your door here. And then up top here, uh, this actually has a little coat hook thing up there, but also they give you some little touch-up paints as well if you do their paint jobs. This here, just in case you get any little scuffs and scratches, you can try to touch up some things. Now stepping on up into here, immediately on our left, we have our half bath set up here. So here we have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Now this is a standard porcelain foot flush toilet though with the nicer lid, but is not the macerator style. Over there we have some drawers and storage space. And then we also have a little sink area, more light controls, turbo exhaust fan controls, medicine cabinet. Up top there is a turbo exhaust fan you can see up there. And back in behind here, let's pop this open here for you. This right here was ordered with the stack washer and dryer. So it has kind of a bifold back door, and then that allows you to access your washer dryer from this room. Swing door on the bathroom and swing door into this bunk room. Now, this one here just happened to be kind of custom ordered, a little different than the norm. Um, this one was ordered with the second bunk option, deleting out the window that normally is there, which would look like the one I'm gonna turn around here and show you here in a second. So this is a little different looking than what you would get as a standard order. So two bunks instead of one, now just kind of stepping back, looking forward there, you can see the TV area, lots of drawer space, lots of cabinet space and hanging space there. Even some storage underneath of that uh, TV section right there as well. So lots of space for the kids' clothes and all that good stuff. You have this little desk area kind of in the middle, has the pull-out drawer on this side. And then over on the other side, you also again have another little pull out drawer and some more cabinets back there. Now over on this side here, this is the way it kind of traditionally would come on the double bunk side I just showed you. You have some more drawers and a single bed with the bunk over top. Now, they will not do a four bunk system because it has to have a window and stuff there, uh, something to do with codes. Um, so you would basically be able to get two bunks on that side and one on the other side or vice versa. But you can't do a four bunk setup apparently due to some sort of RVI code or whatever. Probably some sort of exit case of a fire or emergency or something. But this thing is super cool. Great family coach here. Again, soft touch padded ceilings here. You can see those AC returns for the whisper quiet air so it won't be as loud of a roar above your head. Uh, and again, these light controls, super cool being able to just kind of go through there and do all kinds of goodies. This floor, by the way, is an upgraded floor compared to most RVs. Most RVs are just linoleum, a one-piece linoleum. These are individual uh, tiles that you could technically pull up and remove in case something got damaged. Um, you know, some high-end fifth wheels do that. Some just do linoleum, kind of depending on the price point. All right, I hope this was somewhat informative. This was my first mobile suite I've been in in quite a while. So I'm just kind of trying to remember a lot of this stuff. Um, hopefully that helped. Now I wanna run around the outside real quick for you. I wanna show you the outside of this thing and then we're gonna also close it up. We'll be right back 
on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Mobile Suites Orlando model here. And we're gonna start here on the door side, kind of work our way around. So first things up, this was ordered in the Havana Moon exterior paint job. They do offer a few different exterior paints you can choose from when ordering the RV. We have three slide outs on this side of the RV and three on the other, so six slide outs in total. You have docking light up here in the front corner, porch light up above the actual door as well. There's also the LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV. You do have a small awning on this particular model, and that awning does have the metal protective wrap on it as well. On the front side, the underhang does have a really nice solid fiberglass cap. You have recessed LED lights. The unit has a six point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system on it. And these jacks are actually pitched out at a five degree angle to basically give it more stability. This one was also ordered with the Onan 5500 watt propane generator. This was also ordered with the 3000 watt inverter package and four six volt batteries on a slide out tray there. There is just kind of looking back up inside here, you have the hydraulic pump. There is also the uh, battery disconnect here as well. Just a little bit of the inner guts working of the RV. More ride hitch pin box. Nice little upgrade there, rated for 24,000 pounds, which just happens to be what this unit grosses out at 24,000 max. You do have the frameless dual pane windows. Nice look on the exterior as well. There is a propane hookup down below here, so you could plug in a portable grill. This was also ordered with that really nice in-command center as well. And some of the inner workings of that are down here. There's also an electric outlet and cable outlet here. A decent amount of storage here as well. Has that rubber diamond plate floor. And then just back in behind here is also some more inner workings of things like say the Voyager camera system this was also ordered with. Furnace exhaust out right here. You have an electric outlet here as well. More ride entry step was ordered on this one instead of a traditional hover step. That right there is rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground, doesn't shake and rock and roll an RV as bad as a traditional hover style step. Large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. You do have a window in the entry door. Now you can see up there as well, there is one of the 270 cameras that this one was ordered with by Voyager. So there's a camera on this side, one on the other side, and one on the back that kind of looks down and gives you kind of a bird's eye view like a newer car system does. There is a touch keypad uh, entry door lock as well. Triple axle unit, currently riding on 17 and a half inch Goodyear tires. We'll get to some of those specs when we get over to those stickers and stuff we'll pull up for you here in a bit. There are some little center hubcap things that go over the lug nuts and the center stuff there. Uh, I did not put those on. This unit just came in and has not gone through the whole wash and prep process yet. But I wanted to at least get a video out here to kind of show you what this thing looks like. Just above the window there is a stove exhaust vent. And you'll also see on that window there, a little sticker reminding you about that three year limited structural warranty that not all brands have. Now here's another quick thing, just real quick. This thing is using the more ride independent suspension system down here. 
Really cool, heavy duty suspension setup. I would definitely recommend checking that out. That is standard on this, where it is considered an option or not even available on a lot of RVs. 15 inch box tube frame, where a lot of brands are only using a 12 inch I-beam frame. So a little bit different frame system. Three and a quarter inch thick sidewalls has a quarter inch uh, exterior moisture barrier on there as well, using some Asdale material instead of Luon also. Uh, so that is another nice improvement there in wall construction. All aluminum studded sidewalls, floor and roof as well. You have half inch plywood roof decking, five eighths tongue and groove uh, plywood floor decking. So they're not using any OSB board in the roof deck or floor deck. It's kind of nice as well. There is a storage compartment here. You can see pop up in the picture. And then here in the back as well. So it's kind of nice to see them utilize this space back here where most brands don't. That's just kind of decorative skirting that rolls down underneath of there. Heavy duty fiberglass rear cap, kind of a motorhome style cap on the back of this. It has reverse lights down low. You have brake lights and turn signals um, kind of down low and up high. You got your brake light up high in the center up there. And then you also have obviously in the middle and down low. This does have a hitch on the back. It is a two inch hitch receiver, which is rated for 3000 pounds. You can see there in that sticker popping up. A lot of brands, this is just considered a bike rack hitch. Uh, but here you could actually tow something if you wanted to. Would put you pretty long though, so be a little careful whatever you're towing. And then you also have that seven-way Bargman wiring plug there that basically gets you, you know, your ground, your running lights, and turn signals. If you want to do some sort of brake control setup, you would have to wire that part up separately. Up in that top center section there is the other backup camera. Now, real quick, just popping up a quick picture of the roof so you can kind of see this. You do have things up here as far as your AC systems, plumbing stack vents, um, you know, TV antennas. It's got that WineGuard Air 360 Plus antenna on it. That's really nice. Uh, so you got a lot of things up here. You do have to get up here from time to time and inspect your seams and your seals and all that type of stuff. Doesn't matter if it's a rubber roof, TPO roof, fiberglass roof, whatever. You know, all these RVs have holes popping in and out of these roofs that you do have to get up here and maintain. So be sure to check that out. Ladder on the back of the RV comes down nice and low, makes it easy to get up and down on. That is rated for 250 pounds, traditional RV style ladder. Power cord here, 50 amp electric service. That thing is probably stretched out, I'd say 30 feet maybe. Um, this is a powered power cord reel. So this right here, you can see that. And it's actually going through a little trap door that's at the bottom there. But you can roll it right back up and there's a little button right inside there to do that with. Another storage area here again and there are two of your handles in here as well. So you have a gray and a black handle because again, you had the bathroom in the back on this and basically a rear dump here. Step back here so you can see down the whole side a little bit better. Security light there in the rear corner. Now here's something I think they did that's pretty smart. A lot of these have these residential refrigerators you've seen when we were inside, but here they put an actual access panel door here. So you could get back here and actually check your water lines and some of the guts of this and maybe even have it maintenance or serviced as well without hopefully having to pull it completely out of the RV. Up top there is the other side camera, again, part of that 270 view camera system. There's a vent up there. Now looking down below right here, you can see your second dump along with the spare tire underneath of there as well. 
side turn signals, the Truma on-demand AquaGo water heater. That is a really nice feature you find in a lot of these high-end fifth wheels, and it's even making its way down into the trailer market as well. Here's kind of a docking station area here. So you have two more tanks to pull here and dump. There is where you do your water insert and basically directions here on where you want the water to flow by turning these valves. There's a cold water spray port down here. You have sanitation flush valves, an electric outlet. You've seen that motion light kick on there a minute ago. And you also have satellite and cable hookups here as well. And then you have a door to close and basically lock it off so you don't have to worry about anybody messing with your stuff. Now, just back in behind here, I want to show you this area here as well. This has a sliding door on each side right here. And back in behind these doors, you have things like this copper manifold system here that allows you to turn on and off individual water lines. You have the whole house water filtration system underneath the here. There's motion lights in here as well. And then you also have a light switch there. Back in behind here a little bit, you can see the disc brake reservoir here as well. And there's some more gut stuff over there also. There is the controls right here for your auto level jack system, getting things up and down on and off the truck as well. Back in here, you have your two 40 pound propane tanks right there. Here's some very important informational stickers I want to pop up for you here real quick. And also the jack controls as well so you could get it on and off your truck here also. But let's pop up these stickers real quick. In this first sticker you see popping up here we have the main production date sticker. So this is showing you obviously production date, VIN number, axle sizes, uh, has the gross vehicle weight on it as well. That's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, do not exceed that number. Next sticker popping up here is the unloaded vehicle weight sticker. Basically just kind of telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. It also has a little other information as far as VIN number and stuff on there as well. Next is the cargo carrying capacity sticker, just kind of reminding you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross weight number. And last but not least, the tire sticker here, just reminding you tire size, also proper cold tire pressure. Make sure you check your tire pressure from time to time. That is very, very important on any RV. Now up front here, there is another docking light up there as well. So you had one on the back corner and one on the front corner. Really nice heavy duty fiberglass front shell. You can see the LED light strips coming down. Again, you had that more ride pin box on the front. Um, just underneath of there, you can also see two more lights under there kind of pointing straight down into your truck bed. So if you're trying to hook up at night, you can get a pretty good view of what's going on. But overall, this thing is a beautiful, heavy duty, full timer style RV here. All right, guys, we are going to head back inside. I wanna show you what this thing looks like all closed up real quick on the inside. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back inside the brand new 2023 Mobile Suites Orlando model. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like closed. I kind of cheated a little bit to speed this up for you, but I went ahead and closed up a few of the slides so you could see what it looks like. When it is closed, the back section here, I could squeeze back in here and I could come back here and I could crawl over my bed to get to my half bath or my full bath back there if I really needed to. Um, the bed moved in and the kind of vanity top part here all came in. So that does kind of overlap each other a little bit, making the mattress a little on the shorter side. 
So if you were to try to come back in here and sleep, you are losing probably, I'd say about five inches of length. So you would have to kind of curl up a little bit if you're a taller person, I guess if you're short, it don't matter a whole lot. But I could still come back in there, sleep. I could also climb into my shower area and stuff if I needed to. Now with this sofa slide, they refer to it as closed up. I'm not able to do a whole lot as far as I can't get to my refrigerator. I'm losing parts of my lower pantry section. But I could bump it out, it just takes a few seconds. The two bedroom slides are electric. The two middle slides here in the kitchen living room are hydraulic. And then the two bunk slides are also electric. So what we're gonna do here, I wanna turn around and show you part of the bunk room area. I closed up part of that already. So when this one on the right comes in, it blocks you off completely from getting into here. But if you are able to bump out that room, I could still come in here and sleep down here without having to worry about opening up that slide out. But let's kind of close this up for you real quick and show you what it looks like, how it closes. So you come back here to your end command center. Got to wake this thing up. There we go. And we're going to bunk door slide in. So it just takes a few seconds for that to do its thing. But when it is closed, you can see not really getting past that. So that's all blocked off, but I could still come in here and actually get to my half bath, no problem. Nice, quick, and easy. So if you're just stopping at a rest area, you need to run in to use the bathroom, you got full access to that half bath, nice and easy. Back here, bringing in the big slide, which they refer to as kitchen slide. So we're gonna, this is a hydraulic slide, so it moves a little bit faster. And it comes in real close to your island. So I have all six slides closed up now. And again, I could come in here, maybe get to a little bit of stuff. I can get to, you know, my little cabinets around my fireplace, behind my TV, my upper cabinets. Could maybe stretch across and get to a little bit of stuff in this cabinet here, but not really doing a whole lot once I close up that slide. But if I can bump out this kitchen slide, then I could squeeze back through the whole RV or bump out the one slide in the bedroom and get through that as well. So I hope this was a little helpful for you to kind of get you an idea on what the new 2023 Orlando by Mobile Suites looks like closed up. Thanks again for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it, guys. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation.